this is ruining my post work shit. It's like sitting there brewing. It's gonna be real good. Ruining it? Ruining it? Well, I just walked in, put on a shirt, and sat down. You could have pooped, goddammit. No, I ain't got time for that. Oh, I gotta eat. I gotta, <laughs> you I gotta, went to work shirtless? I got to eat after this. I got I ain't got time for that. Nobody got time for that. You could poop twice. It's okay. Yeah, it'll be all right. If you do hear a fart and I go, oh crap, <laughs> and I just disappear, you know what happened. You gotta say, oh, almost crap. Mm-hmm. It might be an oh crap. <laughs> oh crap. Okay. <laughs> all right. Hey, did you know when you move your mouse really quick on your Mac, it makes the cursor real big? Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. I do this stuff for a living. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a computer. That so it's like I'm on a computer for it. like 16 hours a day. Yeah, because that's typically uh, okay. why people do it. They're like, where the fuck is it? And it's like, hey, I'm right here. Oh, I like it. Yeah. I kind of wish it was always that big. That's pretty cool. No, I'm <laughs> No, I'm <homo. laughs> Unless I'm talking about myself. Yeah, fair. <laughs> Dang, I okay. wish it was always that big. Well, welcome back on that note to the 33rd episode of the Poor Choices Show. I'm your host, Chris. I am here with my co-host, David. And to Will Smith, T.I., Scotty Pippen, Michael Douglas, Barbara Walters, and Jamie Heineman. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Let's make some poor choices. Oh, barely popped. Oh. Oh. Oh, there it is. Keeps them pretty cool. That's not warm. <laughs> Fuck. Subscribe. At first, I was like, oh, wow, it's going to be all black people's birthdays. And then you were like, nope, nope, no. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, Michael <laughs> Douglas. Jamie, Jamie Heineman. Yeah. Yeah. So that was that part of my transition. You know who Jamie Heineman is? Yeah, it's a Mythbuster. It's weird to me that you know that. Adam and Jamie. Yeah. You didn't what, what? watch that every episode all the time on the Discovery Channel growing up? I did. No, not all. I watched a lot of them. That and like how it's made, but I, I couldn't tell you his last name. Jamie Heineman and then Grant Imakara, Irakara. He passed away a few years ago. The Asian mm-hmm. dude. From uh, World War II? I think he was sick. I don't know. No, that was... Uh, I don't uh, think he's... Chernobyl? No. no. Well, I guess he probably would have been around for that. Yeah, it was the 80s. Yeah, yeah. Well, speaking of Jamie Heineman and Mythbusters, yeah, I have some of the most popular myths. Okay, so none of these are true. I'm just going to kind of spat them out. Popular myths. Yeah, it's like things that... So, so the list was like the 65 most believed or most popular myths. So I went through the list and I grabbed the ones that I believed. Oh, that when you read them went, oh, that's not I was real. like, hmm, yeah. Okay, almost some like Mandela effect kind of things. Uh, I guess in a way, don't get me started on that. I still got to dedicate the time to get some stuff together to talk about that. Cause that's going to be like a whole fucking episode. Cause I still got my link in my notes. <laughs> yeah. We'll keep it there. We'll, uh, we'll get to it. All right. All right. All right. So, so hit me with some miss. What do you got? Mm, See if you right, can so blow, blow my mind. The first one I have is that Napoleon was short. Okay. A tall tale at. 5'7", he was actually above average height for a Frenchman of the time. Okay. I mean, he's still short, though. Like, in, when we talk yeah. about a Napoleon, like... But you gotta think, like, he's been talked about since then. Like, when did that, like, oh, he was sh- short start? Like, why don't um, we, why don't we, like, consider everybody from those time periods to be short? He only had one ball, too, right? Something like that? It's Lance Armstrong. I think he only had one ball. You want to get on that real quick? because <laughs> that's the whole napoleon complex is you're short so you gotta you know you go get your lifted truck and you yeah I, what does that have to do with one ball though uh, maybe that was another reason he was like the way he was because he wanted to make up for not being normal okay i'll stand by let's see oh no he had his penis amputated mm. by uh what was that bitch's name it's like loretta no i'm probably thinking of loretta scott king uh Josephine. you know her name no, nah, that was uh, that was, was that his, girl we went to school with. That was his wife. Well, his first wife. Yes, no, first it wasn't wife. that long ago. Lorena Bobbitt. That's who it was. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I thought you meant like Napoleon days. What a psycho bitch. <laughs> <laughs> who raps uh, about Lorena Bobbitt? Is that Eminem? I think it is. Cedar chips and seeds spit up more than they can chew like a baseball. The sweetest fish on Lorena with two penises. Some. All right. Okay. What's another another myth. N- 
The next one is the parts of your tongue. There are no different sections for each taste. Bitter, sour, salty, sweet. Mm. Yeah. Did you know that? Uh, no, I, I definitely can picture my mind like that, like picture of like the back is sour and this one's savory and this one's sweet. If you put it back here on your tongue, it, you'll taste it different. I would have went with like the tip of your tongue is sour. Mm -hmm. I could see that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, the next one I have is missing persons. Police don't demand a 24 hour window before accepting a missing persons report. That I didn't, that, that that's a thing. Like people think that. Yeah. You know, you've seen like movies and TV shows when people are like, I need to report a missing person. And they're like, when's the yeah. last time you saw them? They're like 12 hours ago. Like, eh, come back tomorrow. Yeah. Cause my first thought is like my great aunt with dementia is missing something like that. They're not going to be like, eh, come back. Okay. I don't have um, a great aunt with dementia. I'll just, yeah. <laughs> well if you did she wouldn't remember you saying that about her so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh this one i knew but i didn't know the extent of it uh it's we have five senses because i knew we had like i feel like we did something on this one time that we had like we did. seven or eight yeah it says we yeah. actually have about 20 including balance pain movement hunger and thirst what about um prairie dogging is that a sense uh is that just like a feel and feel is a sense like touch is a sense i feel like touch is more like a proactive movement well it's pretty proactive <laughs> yeah i would say it's probably not prairie dogging but it's probably something like the same thing when you like you have a stomach ache so it probably is like a feel it's like an internal touch i don't know Ooh, i, think I didn't go too far into this is that a michael jackson song or that's just what he did Internal touch. Uh, I think that's what he did. He did external too, right? <laughs> you just had to be this short to ride this ride. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. What was his kid's uh, name in South Park? Oh, Blanket. Blanket, yeah. Blanket, give me a blanket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like holding him out the balcony. Look, it's Blanket. He's like, let me out, let me out. Yeah. Uh, the next one I have is that dropped pennies can kill you. Like from the top of the... Well, two weeks in a row, not the World Trade Center, but like the Empire State Building. You've heard that, right? Yeah, because it reaches such a terminal velocity coming down. And it's well, uh, that's what it says is terminal velocity for a penny is actually only about 30 to 50 miles an hour, which isn't fast enough to kill you. Uh, Fun fact. It would, it would just be like, fuck, that really hurt. Yeah. Uh, the next one is that Satan rules hell. It doesn't actually say this anywhere in the Bible. He, he, so he might just be like Joe Schmo down there. Just like <laughs> just, just some fucking ass. It's probably Napoleon down there. That was like, yeah, I'm exactly. going to change my name. Yeah. It would, it would be another one, reference South Park. Like, ah, it's just Satan. Ah, oh, come on, Satan. Yeah. And then what, on, what did he have? Like a Ferrari cake, but he ended up with like a Mercedes cake or something like that. Yeah. I just, yeah. <laughs> Cause they fucked up the Ferrari. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? Um, I have flush toilet water. It does not rotate the other way in the Southern Hemisphere. The Coriolis effect mm. doesn't affect water in toilets. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, the last, like, solid one I have is gum digestion. It says the chewy base of gum is indigestible and passes straight through. The remainder is absorbed. I mean, you'll digest basically anything that you put down there. Yeah. Oh, I have one other, like, actually true one. Okay. Um, goldfish have a memory span of three seconds. It says they actually boast a memory span of about three months. Damn. So how do you test that? How do you find find that out? <sighs> like you, you you're right. See now the that goldfish, I think about this, like you don't fucking. Like, know. And I'm. It's funny you say that because I'm always the first to be like, how the fuck do they know that? I mean, fish like the fish I've had in the past, they know when it's like feeding time because I. The lid on the tank lifts up, right? So they know it's time. So they remember that. Well, also, I don't know how many goldfish you've had, but I don't think I've ever had one that's lived longer than like three weeks. Well, I've I've bought probably anywhere from fifty to eighty goldfish. Um, but and to, to how feed. long did the longest one? Oh, to, to use them as? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. they were they were dinner. Yeah. Okay, so maybe that one's not a a true one. And then I have uh, I have two that are like the way you believe it isn't true, but it is true. So the first well, another one, is, one about goldfish. Hold on. Wait a minute. Isn't it like if you leave a goldfish like in a bathtub, it'll grow to that side, like whatever 
I think that's, Unit that's more like in, a, it'll just grow to that size. It's more Isn't like a, a, a myth like thing, a, like a tall tale or like a wise tale. One might say a myth. No, because I feel like a myth is more like commonly believed. Mm. And then I feel like a wise tale is like something someone said 300 years ago and everyone just kind of took it as fact. But then people mm. grew to so understand you, that it was would, fake, but there were would, still people that were like, oh. I don't know. So Jesus would be a wives tale. Uh, I think Jesus like is his, just fiction. His, his miracles that he performed. Those are yes. He was probably a real dude. I mean, let's let's be yeah. real here. Like agreed. There was some dude named Jesus back in Jerusalem who was like, he probably got fucking stoned and was like, I'm gonna die for you guys. And they were like, <laughs> sweet dude. He, he ate the prickly cactus and was yeah. like, dude. And his his gang or posse or whatever was just called the disciples or the apostles or whatever. And they're the fuck all messed they up and, he, and he's like, I thought you were drinking water, Jesus. Yeah, me too. Is that wine? Dude, yeah. 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 How'd that happen? Like, I don't bro, know, man. He was doing a, what's that, a strikeout? And you like take a shot and hit a bong and do something else. Oh, from, uh, what was that movie? Uh, Beer Fest. Yeah, so he does. I don't know. I thought you guys used to do that behind Joe's house. He takes a bong hit, takes a shot holding in the hit, and then chugs a beer holding in the hit, and then lets it out. Yeah. And he's like, that's not so bad. And he just like slowly goes to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Now, I don't think I've ever actually done it. I'm pretty sure I've watched you do it, but okay. Really? I don't know. You know, it has more nails than, or no, I already fucked it up. I'll Come hit on, you with man. it later. You're better than that. Come on. I, know, I, got, I just right. got so excited to say it before I said this <laughs> last one. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Yeah. So the, uh, the sort of real one is that caffeine dehydrates you. It says the diuretic mm. effect of caffeine is offset by the amount of water in a caffeinated drink. So yes, if you took like straight caffeine, like a fat burner or something, it would dehydrate you. But right. drinking like an energy drink, there's enough water in it to offset. Interesting, because I definitely think that like when I'll drink like when an you're energy drink, here, work, I don't want to do this shit. Well, yeah, I'll drink it, and I'm like, oh, now I got to drink a cup of water to right. make sure I don't like die. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm still going to drink water, but you know, you shouldn't, I drink a lot of water. You know why? I, I, I never, ever, ever, ever want to experience a kidney stone. Ah, I, I kind of have something on that. Oh shit. You have a kidney stone? No. Not yet. <laughs> I was like at this rate though, I, I drink probably like a thimble of water a day. So, Oh no, dude, I probably drink if I put it in bottles form, probably six ish bottles of water a day. It's, it's like three weeks for me. I drink a lot of Gatorade, though. It's better so. than soda. I think a lot of people that get kidney stones drink a lot of sugary stuff. And beer. And don't, and don't drink water. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right. So the last one I have is that salt water boils quicker. It says adding a sprinkle of salt doesn't make your water boil any faster. You would have to use sea level amounts. Yeah, I, I do that so that it seasons the pasta. Okay. I don't know if it actually does, but that's what the Internet told me. So I do it. Fair. Another one that I guess I meant to write down, maybe when I went back to look, it was gone, but like uh, adding olive oil, like I always put olive oil in the water when I make pasta. Mm -hmm. It says it doesn't actually make the pasta not stick together. Yeah, no. So, I don't know. If you want your pasta to not stick together, just add a little bit of that pasta water to the pasta afterward. Well, it sticks together while it's boiling. Mm. Hmm. I never have that issue, ever. Well, do you do you like when you put it in? Do you like fan it around, or do you just like chuck it in and have a good day? It depends on the pasta. Okay, if it's like only, regular regular method, spaghetti or uh, like an angel hair, like something like it's that. It's usually just like a little bit at a time, but that's not like the only strategy behind that is that I don't want the fucking boiling hot water to splash on me. It's not like being delicate to. I don't know. Oh, I see. Flavor. No, it's I just see like I don't mean. want the shit to. Yeah. Otherwise, no. I just like if it's like rotini or macaroni i just nah, just fucking dump it all in yeah yeah there is that that move of like i know the move too you're like yeah, that, trying to get yeah that you're like, <laughs> fuck that put in like one goddamn strand of even though if, a, if a, a drop or two hits you it's just gonna be like oh that's hot but it yeah. doesn't matter you're like like fuck that not, yeah. not a single drop which yeah. i had to write this down last week because um as soon as we got off I stubbed my toe real bad Ooh. <laughs> and I yelled and I, and I, <laughs> I know you're very famous for this. 
Oh, but as soon did. as I as like soon a... as I stubbed my toe, I yelled double tits in a fire. And as soon as I said it, I was like, it was it was just instinct to say that because it hurt so bad. But double I know. T- so I had to type it immediately. I wrote it down and double I know that's in a fire. Yeah, I, man. Couldn't tell you. Um, but that hmm. I know your favorite is cunt. You like to say cunt. It's, when you it's usually yourself. and this is probably cunt, 80 cunt bitch slut fuck is, it's, is one of your <laughs> one of your favorites it's 80 percent accurate every single time it's motherfucking son of a bitch ass cunt fuck slut mm-hmm. something yeah mm-hmm. it depends on how bad it hurts and like you know like when you do something like that it like throbs so however yeah. long it throbs is like how many words i get out so sometimes it's like if it's just right, like a, right, a quick right. like uh, but Sometimes if it's like throbbing, it's like mother. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just after I said it, I was like, what did I just say? I need to write that down. You said what? Double, double tits in a fire, double tits in a fire. Huh? So when you hurt yourself again, just, just keep recording. Just for it. Just put it in your notes on your phone. Just live stream it. Yeah. Just, just, it'd be the same note every time. Motherfucking slut, son of a bitch ass cunt. It's just one of those things that like your brain is processing what happened, but it wants to express the anger and of the pain. And that's what came out of my mouth. <laughs> Double tits in a fire. Double tits in it. That's like the most like PG 13. <laughs> it's like Philip Rivers doing it. Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't even think he'd say tits, dude. Gosh, darn it. To he'd be like shoot. Mul- multiple breasts in a fire. <laughs> huh? I just had to get that out there because I was when I wrote it down, I was like, that's that just reading it. I'm like, who would even come up with that in their head to say that? But double tits in a fire. That's yeah, it, it's got me. But I said it <laughs> and it did. Um, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Huh. OK. I'm not really sure where to throw you for a curveball there. <laughs> where to, yeah. Uh, uh, we can. I just had one quick, th- I wasn't even going to bring it up. It was just something I saw. So I wrote down, but since you mentioned, uh, the kidney stone thing, it kind of yeah. relates. Okay. Uh, would you rather ejaculate one sperm? That's the size of a tadpole or ejaculate regular size sperm, but they can all talk. <laughs> um, cause at first you're like, fuck it. The other one, I don't care what it is. And then you're like, Oh, my first thought was the noise the one tadpole would make coming out, like. Whoop. <laughs> and then you got to think about the noise that like, all be the, sound the other of, like, ones are going to make. Pulling the cork out of a wine bottle, yeah. like that noise, like. Uh, and then the noise, or the the talking, like what would they just be saying? Like, I'm free, I'm free, hey, hey. And then they're like, no. So you know what it would, you know, Bruce Almighty when he like becomes God. Oh, he can and hear he's all like the voices. Respond to all those emails, yeah, and he just like yeah. hears like millions of conversations. It's like it would be like that. Mm, I'm gonna go with the big one. Yeah, oh, God, Dad, that would hurt so bad. Well, you'd be, it'd be, Ugh. you know, it could be like any other body part stretching when something comes out. It'd be normal. It'd just be like, Oop. dude, it it hurts sometimes when I like hold a pee for like 18 hours, and it just like you could feel it coming all the way up through your testicle, just like yeah. Thoop. And it hurts coming out, and you got a fucking tadpole. Ugh. I'm pic- I'm picturing that porno of like <laughs> <laughs> the girl's just like ow, just <laughs> gets slapped in the face with a fucking magic harp. Yeah, what was that? And it's like on the ground, just flopping around. <laughs> it's like, oh, Jesus, oh Jesus Christ, that's good. Uh, I I don't know how. And that how- kids is how albino frogs are made. Yeah. Just in case uh, nothing better comes of this, let me write down how albino frogs are made for the episode <laughs> title. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, I don't even remember what I was going to say. Uh, um, something about something. I feel like it was funny, but oh, I was just going to say, uh, I, I don't know how much all these platforms are uh, recommending our episodes now but i'll tell you what talking about ejaculating tadpoles and saying cunt 13 times already probably isn't gonna do us any good you know what we're not here for them we're here for us so fuck them and and to your mother i'm sorry for all the vulgarity uh what are we 15 minutes into the episode Mm, yeah talking about bong hits and giant sperm yeah yeah ignore the motherfuck slut 
slut, cunt ass, bitch, fuck. Yeah. I mean, I think she's heard those words before in her life. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. But, you know, <clears throat> it's not like you she's a good transition. Um, um, <laughs> before we, <laughs> before I get an email tomorrow, they're like, hey, uh, you guys are going to have to record on a different platform now. <laughs> we can't be having that here. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> No, nothing really that would slide right in. I mean, I have another just little thing that I saw that was um, sports related that the University of Tennessee is going to start charging fans. Did you see that 10% talent fee on yeah. tickets for all sports to help pay their athletes? I'm not mad at it. I'm just surprised they're the f- first school to do it and not one of these. I mean, I guess it is. It's a really big school. I, I Yeah. Well, and... Were you going to say and not like an Alabama or something like that? Um, yeah, or like a Michigan or Ohio State. or It's because they don't need to. So think about it this way. True, the, the more money true. they make on that, the more they can pay their athletes, which will attract better talent. So I feel like it's like a roundabout way of like getting getting those people in the door to play for them. Well, they got the greatest quarterback of all time to do it for free. So no. <sighs> But every it's not like he could have gone somewhere else and made money. Yeah, true. So I just thought yeah. it was it's it's like, OK, but like I you said, not not mad at it. Yeah, I still don't know how I feel about the whole like monetizing college athletes. Um, yeah, I mean, they're making I, pretty good money. I get it for things like like putting them in like NCAA games, like because that's using their name likeness, but like just to play. Yeah. You know, starting, they're not starting like third string left guard. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I'm not mad at it. However, it works out that they, who gets paid and how much they get paid, I, I have no idea. I would assume it's probably on a uh, performance basis, if I had to guess. Um, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't but know. But it said it's, it's going to charge that fee on tickets for all sports. So I'm assuming that means that all sports are going to make, are going to be able to pay their players. So it could be from field hockey to softball to, you know. Right. But now do you think that they are going to like isolate those ticket sales to those sports? So like, are they just going to put it all in one big pot and say football players, you get 80% and then like divvy out the rest. Or do you think it's like money they make mm. on field hockey sales are going to go to them and money yeah. they make on I baseball it, yeah. sales are going to go to yeah. them. Yeah. Cause they're not the football players who are selling out 60,000 plus stadiums to the field hockey players. who just have like their parents there aren't <laughs> to be like, why are they getting paid? The same amount as right. Money? Yeah. Okay. If I had to guess, I don't know. That's I, I just saw kind of the headline, and I was like, "Oh, that's interesting." Yeah, yeah. I actually, saw. When did you see that? I saw that like two hours ago. Um, I want to say it was it was over the weekend, so a few days ago. Oh. Hmm. Jokes on me, I guess. It was a um. I think it was just like an ESPN notification on my phone. I have notifications turned off on like everything. Hmm. Mm-hmm. My who texts me? Oh, it's fucking LinkedIn or some bullshit. Uh, well, before we move into anything too time consuming, uh, hmm. I'd had a couple of riddles for you. Ooh. Okay. I like riddles. What has two words, but millions of letters? Post office. Fuck you. Yeah. Had to think about it. Yeah. That's the point. <laughs> you don't think about it long enough. That's right. Um, all right. And the other one is lose me once. I'll come back stronger. Lose me twice. I'll leave forever. What am I? Lose me once, come back stronger, but twice, and I'm gone. Oh, ever. But ever, ever? But ever, ever? Is it something to do with, like, the human body? Maybe. Teeth. It's a tooth. Tooth. Hell yeah. I feel like it took you too long to say tooth. After tooth you long? Thought human body. Like, what else on the human body? I was thinking, like, immune system or, like, my tonsils or, like, I don't know. Just Your tonsils grow back stronger? No, sure don't. No? Okay. <laughs> well, I still got them, but no. Nope. Yeah, well, yeah, I know what you mean. Okay, well, try to turn that into a short. Oh, it's just two? Yeah. Oh. I had I had so much other stuff, and now I'm looking at it, I don't have as much as I thought, but... Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I got a lot. So... Did you see my baseball? What's that from? It's from, um... 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 
something about Mary. Mm. Ben Stiller. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. All right, so this week on how these MLB teams got their name, I've got the American League Central coming at you, David. First team's a tough one, Chicago White Sox. How'd they get their name? Similar to the Red Sox, they used to wear white stockings. Okay. Um, I think you're pretty spot on. Much like, oh, much like their in-state counterpart, the Cubs, the media also played a big role in naming the White Sox after moving from St. Paul. The press started to call the white stockings the white socks. The name has stuck ever since and definitely sounds a lot better than stockings. Stockings is an obsolete word in terms of what athletes wear today. Baseball players wear socks, not stockings. Fun fact, they don't wear stockings. They wear socks. I wonder what the difference is. Hmm. Well, if stockings are just like a sock that goes like all the way up your leg. Like they still wear those. But a stocking you hang over your fireplace doesn't go all the way up your leg. It's like would probably go to your calf. Mine, it would go up Zoe's leg. Hmm. Touche. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hanging fishnet up this year. All right. How about the, oh, <laughs> going to get a hot topic for Chris. How about, um, how about the Cleveland Indians? Um, that's the Guardians, isn't it? It is now the Guardians. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. They, they probably started somewhere else where there is Native American history and then went to Cleveland and kept the name. Okay. Um, so Cleveland was forced to make a big decision after, I'm going to butcher this, Nap LaJoy, 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 uh, who was a great player manager with the club, left, taking note of the Boston Braves' success in 1914 ownership and sports writers felt that Cleveland team should be should do something related to that. Then the Indians were born. Although the Indians are a unique name, it's crazy to think that those making the decision thought they would be successful because a team with a similar name already was. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who do you think of when you think of the Indians? Um, mm, I think of the whole team, but probably if I had to pick a player, Kenny Lofton. Mm. Okay. I think of Kenny. I think of Manny. Um, I think of uh, Abreu. I think of um, what was his name? Oscar uh, Meyer Robertson. <laughs> no, um, what was the short size name? Um, you thinking of Omar Vizquel? Omar, Omar Vizquel, not Oscar. <laughs> Oscar's his brother. <laughs> <The Grouch>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, but if I had to pick a player, Kenny. Kenny. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who do you think of? Uh, Alomar's brother. Yep, Sandy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, how about the Detroit Tigers? Something about the zoo? Something about the zoo? <laughs> uh, before the Detroit Tigers were called the Tigers, they had to get permission from Michigan's oldest military unit beforehand, considering that's where the name came from. The Tigers, however, were primarily called the Wolverines. Detroit decided to go with Tigers after permission was granted in 1901 when the team also joined the American League. Not many teams in any league are named after a military unit, so it was relatively clever to decide on that. Oh. I like it, but I don't like that they had to get permission because it's an animal. <laughs> right. right. Like, you like might be doing it based on yeah. that, but like it's... you know, like uh what's the um like the Philadelphia Eagles didn't have to get permission from the airborne to like the flying yeah. eagles. Like they didn't have to go through right. that. Hmm. Bizarre. Okay. Um, Kansas City do, Royals. Do, 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 do. How bizarre. How bizarre. Every time. Okay. Um, Kansas City Royals. How'd they get their name? Hmm. I don't know, but every time I hear the Royals, I think about uh, it was probably what year is Lord? it? 24? Nah. Oh. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I am no, 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 no. I think about. It must have been like seven, eight years ago. Oh. When the O's and the Royals played in the playoffs. And I think the Royals either swept them or like beat them in five games or something like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, the I don't know if it was like an actual headline or just like a I think Facebook that's the headline. year they won the World Series, the Royals. Probably. But it yeah. said these O's ain't Royals instead of like Ooh, these hoes ain't good. loyal. And yeah, I was that's like, pretty good. So, um, how about, uh, the Minnesota twins? You didn't tell me how the Royals got their name. <laughs> so the Kansas city Royals. <laughs> <laughs> so in 
So fan suggestions played a big role in the ter- determination of uh, what Kansas City's expansion team was going to be called. Over 15,000 suggestions were sent in from fans. And since Kansas City used to be a major market for livestock and it played host and it played host the American Royal Livestock Show annually, ownership decided to go with the Royals. While naming the team the Royals isn't terrible, the livestock part is a little weird. I'm sure that there were better, more normal options to choose from. Interesting. Hmm. So so far, this division's actually been, except for the White Sox, has been pretty good. Yeah. And last but not least is the Minnesota Minnesota Twins. Uh, That's not great. It's not like I'm from Sweden. Minnesota. (laughs) Yeah, a little bit. Uh, Just to be in the Twin Cities. Okay. Um, So the origin of the Minnesota Twins nickname is all about keeping the peace and making friends. When Minnesota was awarded a team in 1961, both Minneapolis and St. Paul wanted the club. Instead of bickering over which city deserved it more, the team was named the Twins after the Twin Cities. To give each a piece of the pie, you'll notice that the Twins hat have a TC on them, which stands for Twin Cities. I did not know that. So the real question is, where is the stadium? I want to say it's in St. Paul. No, no. Minneapolis, right? Target Field? That's what I thought. Target Field. Now, who do you think of when I say twins? There's only one answer here. Yeah, it's Kirby in Minneapolis. Puckett. Kirby Puckett. Yeah, it's in Minneapolis, yeah. Okay. And I think of that that great shared stadium. What was that? Where they played, the Vikings played there, and there's and then the twins played there. Yeah. The twins, it was that giant blue wall in right field where the seats yeah. came down. Yep. Kirby Puckett. What field was it? What? Uh, oh, the Metrodome. Yeah. Yeah. Duh. Duh. Yeah. Duh. Do, 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 do. That was my uh, Billie Eilish. She's like, I'm, I'm a bad guy. And she's like, duh. Do, 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 uh, do, 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 do. Anyways. I would have gone with, duh, Gus Gus. <laughs> <laughs> Cinderella, Cinderella. Cinderella, like Cinderella. 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 Hmm. Dish is All right. Um, there you go. AL Central. All right. I like it. Wham, it's going to be a little easier man. to edit. I'm happy about it. Mm-hmm. I'm also happy about the uh, not like four of them were like, uh, in 1974, uh, there was a fan vote that blah, blah, yeah, blah, blah, that blah. Was, that was a good division. That was well. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Good yeah, job. Yeah, yeah. Good job, guys. All right. Well, after another week of not getting a single fucking vote for winner on our yeah. fucking all time drafts. Just people putting in their two cents and not realizing the rules of the game. Yeah. So uh, see if we can maybe make this one short enough for me to include this in there. But we'll start with pay attention to the fucking rules, you fucking idiots, because everyone's commenting shit about Ray Lewis not being selected for an all time AFC East draft or Ed (laughs) Reed, who they're either fucking retarded or think he deserves a spot with the seven games he played. Right, right. So, this week, we're going to do an all-time AFC North defensive draft, where only players that played in the AFC North will be drafted. (laughs) Shocker. Players will be drafted based on their tenure with the team in that division. So, Clay Matthews will not be drafted. Julius Peppers will not be drafted. Wish I got that guy's fucking username. I'd... Uh, Yeah, Adam. (sighs) And uh, what positions we uh, draft him from? We're drafting defensive line, linebacker, cornerback, and safety. Bam. Pow. <laughs> right in the kisser. <laughs> Pow. Right in the kisser. Uh, I was going with uh, <laughs> Rob Regal and uh, Step Brothers. Like, pow, pow. Ah. <laughs> it's good, though. I like that, too. All right. Um, well, you get to go first, and it's really going to decide my draft based on who you go with. So. <sighs> I'm very intrigued with who your number one pick is. Very intrigued. Well, the way I looked at it is there's only one goat that is selectable. Um, I would true. say two. And I would say that's bias because Ronnie Debatable. Lott's the greatest safety of all time. Debatable. Well, not if I'm having that conversation with not a Ravens fan. <laughs> <laughs> hey, to be fair. Ed was ranked number one on Ranker.com. Ronnie Lott was second. Well, and that's fan-based. It is fan-based. 
And as you can see from all the comments we've gotten, the fans are a bunch of fucking idiots. So, except for you people that like follow and subscribe, you're not. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You talk all the shit you want, just hit that button. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> all right. Well, hit me with it. What you got? With my first overall pick, I'm going to take linebacker Ray Lewis of the Baltimore yeah, Ravens. Yeah, I thought you might do it. I thought you might do it. Okay. Yeah. In that case, <clears throat> in that case, with my first overall pick, I'm going to go cornerback Rod Woodson for the Pittsburgh Steelers. It's weird to me. That's what I'm doing. Uh, it's, it's not bad. Um. With my second pick, I'm going to take safety Troy Polamalu from the Pittsburgh Steelers. Cool, cool, cool. Um, All right, it's kind of working out. My second pick, I'm going to go defensive line for the Cleveland Browns, Miles Garrett. God damn it. God damn it. If I did that, would you have taken Troy? Um, Nah. No? Mm -mm. Why not? I still got my boy. Yeah, but if you would have taken Troy, you would have put me at a significant disadvantage. Well, my linebacker is not going to be great either way, so that's all I can say. What you could have, you could have went with Troy and Terrell Suggs. Nah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, in that case, uh, with my third pick, I'm going to take defensive lineman Geno Atkins from the Cincinnati Bengals. Oh, I thought you were going to go Carlos. He was number two on probably ranker.com or whatever site I looked at that ranked Bengals lineman. Okay. Well, with my third pick, big name coming in, big name, I'm going to go linebacker, Cincinnati Bengals, Reggie Williams. Who was your first pick? Uh, Rod Woodson. Mm. Okay. You want to go uh, Vontez Perfect? He was actually... I was considering it just based off his stats, even though I hate that man. Yeah, I don't blame you. <clears throat> but no, we're going to Reggie. All right. Well, with my last pick at cornerback, I'm going to take Cleveland Brown, Frank Minifield. Old Frankie. I say that like I know who that is. Yeah, I don't know. We just we Googled it and we saw Hall of Fame. You, you, and we you said, didn't want to go Denzel it. Ward, huh? Nah, I thought about Joe Hayden. Oh, that's a real good one, actually. But apparently Frankie, old Frankie was better. <laughs> old Frankie. It was either Frankie or Ken Riley. Yeah. Um, and with my last pick at safety, Baltimore Ravens going Ed Reed. Old Ed. So for those who didn't pay attention, because I know you didn't, David didn't take Ed Reed because he took a Raven already with Ray Lewis. Correct. Are we are we understanding now? Hopefully, maybe, possibly. They're, they're probably not. For the love of God. Okay. And Chris took what was it, Reggie Williams? Yes. That's why he didn't take Jack Lambert. Okay. Correct. Yeah. David didn't take Joe Green because he already had a Steeler. Right. Let's see. There we go. We're getting there. Yeah. We're getting there. We're not. Okay. What well, the fuck, man? I think did, Joe. I think Joe. Why did you take Lawrence Taylor? Joe Green is going to be the biggest. How do you not take Joe Green? Kind of, you know, but having to stack your other positions, you got to realize what you're doing here. I'm going to have to, I'll have to edit that short with like, like pop up text, like this is why this player was chosen. This is why this player mm -hmm. was chosen. Mm -hmm. What the fuck, man? You didn't take Johnny Unitas? Like, well, my my draft was exactly how I wanted it. Uh, I think yeah, I my Miles mine, Garrett threw you off a little bit. Uh, not threw me off. I had him as A, and then I had Atkins as B. Mm. And then if I would have taken Miles Garrett, I was going uh, Leon Hall for corner. Oh, for who? Cincy? Yeah. Oh, I had Ken Riley. I well, I had Ken Riley and Leon Hall. I had Gino and Carlos and Ken Riley and Leon, just in case I got to a point where Oh, okay. You took a Bengal corner and I needed a Bengal corner and Well for safety, I only put Ed and Troy because I knew each of us was gonna have one. I didn't even bother looking up the others. I put Troy and Donnie Shell who was the second best Steelers safety ever because I knew uh, okay. I was taking Ray. So I was like, this Donnie dude's in the Hall of Fame, so I'll I'll take him if I have to. We both had Joe Green. I had Dunlop, and then I had Haloti Nada for Baltimore. I didn't write any other Ravens down because I knew <laughs> I was taking Ray. Oh, you didn't have Chris McAllister at corner? If I 
needed to. I I knew he was there, but I knew I was taking Ray number one. So my my brown linebacker was Chip Banks. You know Chip Banks, that guy. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> write down any other linebackers. <laughs> I knew what I was doing. Yep. Well, I'm happy with it. Yeah, I I think that's a probably a close one. It'll be, you know, what we got to do is once we're done with divisions is do all time. That'll really open it up. All, you know what I mean? So I, I was thinking about that in the way to work today. And I was like, it would be so like easy. It would. Like if we drafted like an 11 man starting roster, like, like not I even would 11. Have, whoever went first would have six of the best guys. And whoever went second would have We'd five have the of the best, best. guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So I we'll think figure, it'd still be we'll good. We'll figure something out with it. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. Something like that. We'll finger it out. Well, cool. Okay. Got that out of the way. I am um, out of beer. Hi, everyone. I just wanted to take a second to ask that you all hit those like and subscribe buttons. Or if you're an audio listener, go ahead and give the guys five stars. Thanks for listening. Now back to the Poor Choices show. All right. So, yeah, you'll go first in what we have as our best trios draft. This can be Excellent. people, places, things, this, that, the other, which all, would all have been above. a good pick. This, that, and the other. Oh, that was a good, good pick. Yeah. <laughs> this, that, or the so other. So it was my first pick. <laughs> I'm going with this, that, or the other. Okay, so my first pick in the trios draft. Stand by. So with my first pick in the trios draft, I am going to go with Harry, Hermione, and Ron. Thought you might. I thought you might. Lean out of the way of my lightning bolt and my uh, um, uh, snitch. There it is. That's the word. Well, uh, to keep pace with your actions, with my first pick in the trios draft, I'm going to go with red, white, and blue. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. How about that? Um, my second pick, we're doing five, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So second pick trios draft. I am going to go with Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. I'm more upset that I didn't even have that on my list. Ooh. Ooh. You know what? I'm going to, I'm going to call a complete audible here Mm -hmm. and go with another thing that wasn't on my list. This, that, or the other. But I'm, but I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to stick with the same theme. And with my second pick, I'm going to go with Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. Oh, going way off script. The three legendary birds. Yeah. Remember, I had myself a Japanese, uh, Zapdos, probably. Zapdos. Yep. Yeah. I got I it at the mall. One of those. Yeah. Pokemon fair thing that you went to. And yeah, that damn, yeah. I wish I still had those cards, man. Jesus. Yeah. Anyway, you had a Jesus card? Yeah, holographic first autograph? edition. <laughs> <laughs> Not a PSA 10 Jesus auto. Yeah, shadowless Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> first edition. That's another title episode, Shadowless Jesus. Shadowless first Jesus. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, third pick. Um, I think I'm going to do it. Third pick, I'm going to go with Comedy Central Gold and go with Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Okay. Another one that I didn't have, but jawbreakers all day, baby. About yeah, with plank, plank. Oh yeah. Next episode, I'm gonna come on with plank. <laughs> <clears throat> um, God, I have so many. Yeah, me too. So many. Uh, I'm just gonna knock out, knock out the one that I got to do. Okay. And with oh my, yeah. With yeah. my third pick, I'm gonna take Aikman, Irvin, and Emmett Smith. Yeah, I had to do it. Had to do yeah. It. The old triplets. Okay. Um, with oh, my man. fourth pick. See, it's getting tough now. It's not. With my fourth pick, I am going to go with rock, paper, scissors. Did have that one. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. I like that one. Okay. I think I, I, think I can match you on that one. Okay. And with my fourth pick, I'm going to take bacon, lettuce, and tomato. Oh. I had it. I had it. That's a good one. I know. I know. I know. Now the last pick. This is getting a little, little tough. I'm, just, I'm like equally excited for our like which ones did you have that you didn't use mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that I am to have the viewers not vote on this and. Okay. Um. 
Oh, geez. All right. With my last pick in the trios draft, I'm going to go with Larry, Moe, and Curly, the three stooges. Happy about it. I didn't have. Happy about it. All right. Now now I got to figure out if I want to cater to you or the viewers. Mm. I think mine's winning viewers so far. Just because you went biased with you, you had to do your Cowboys, you know. You can't name a better quarterback, running back, and receiver. Trent, Jamal, and Derek. Come on now. (laughs) (laughs) No, I'm sorry. Trent, Jamal, and Brandon. (laughs) Who the fuck is Brandon? Stokely. (laughs) All touchdown pass from Trent. The Ravens, dude. (laughs) Super Bowl champs. Oh. (laughs) I thought you were going Trent Green, Jamal Charles. I was thinking Chiefs. Oh, I mean, not that they played together, but <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. Mm. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you can go with uh, Ray Rice, his girlfriend, and the security camera <laughs> in the thirteenth floor. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, if you think you're winning the crowd, then I'll cater to the crowd. Um, and with my last pick, I'm gonna go with Snap, Crackle, and Pop. I did not have that. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, all right, I'll hit you with my the, the rest that I was going to say that I was torn between, and I ended up going Larry. Okay. Yeah, um, get my backspace I, ready here so I don't read off the same ones I had. I had The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Okay. My favorite Western, FYI. If you ever get that trivia question at the bar, what's Chris's favorite Western? Um, <laughs> it's going to be a bar you open. <laughs> I had Vanilla, Strawberry, and Chocolate. Like okay. Ice cream. Um, graham crackers, marshmallow, chocolate. I had s'mores. Yep. S'mores. Um, bacon, lettuce, tomato. Um, Aragorn, Legolas, and Gimli. Mm, sounds like Game of Thrones stuff. It's called Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's what I meant. Um, I also had Luke, Leia, and Han. I didn't write that because I, I felt like Han was like a third wheel. <laughs> <laughs> God is. Luke, you kissed your sister. Yeah. Um, I had a, um, they're not really a trio, but I think they are. And like, my, like I had Bach, Mozart, and Beethoven. Yeah. I, I feel like, I'd have given it to you. Um, I had, <laughs> I had Colonel Mustard in the dining room with the rope, <laughs> like from Glue. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I had Mickey, Donald Duck, and Goofy. Okay. Uh, Alvin, Simon, and Theodore. I had that. Well, I, I didn't have it, but I thought about it. I had, I almost did this one. I had Chance, Sassy, and Shadow. That was my uh, gonna cater to you one. Oh, okay. Um, and then my last one was Rush, like the band, like the band. Yeah. Is that three people? Yeah. Oh, okay. I feel like there's a lot of bands with three people. I can think of four and two. Maybe because most bands are gonna have the lead guitar, the bass, the drums, and then the lead singer. Typically, you're gonna have four, or you're gonna be like Simon and Garfunkel, just be like the two, like hanging out. How many That's Beatles it? are? Alive. Mm, one. Oh, okay. Maybe two. I think one. <laughs> so the leftover ones I had that you didn't say were football, wings, and beer. Mm. I had uh, Maddox, Smoltz, and Glavin. Damn, that's a really good one. That's a really good one. I had Veni, Vidi, Vici. <laughs> what is that from? It's like Caesar. a magician saying, oh, is that is that it? Yeah, it means oh, I came, yeah. I saw, I conquered. Oh, okay. What's that from? Caesar. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> uh, I had breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That would have been... I might have taken that if I thought of that. That's good. Uh, I had stop, drop, and roll. Oh. I thought you'd say stop, collaborate, and listen. <laughs> uh, that would have been good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, or stop, drop, shut them down, open up shop. Ooh, ooh yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, had- that's what I should have done is WAP. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have had to preface it with Gilbert Gottfried, though. <laughs> and he could cut in that picture of Michael Scott from The Office, like doing that that dance to it. <laughs> if you would have did that WAP, I would have went with the Italian WAP. <sighs> oh Lord, I have blood, sweat, and tears. Pretty good. Yeah. And you said something at some point that made me. I, I put down a, a, a. I don't know why I knew I wasn't going to go with it, but I put down Rocky, Colt, and Tum Tum. From the three ninjas. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Which uh, throwback to, I feel like at some point in the last episode, I said something about Rocky loves Emily. You, I think you've seen the movie recently, if I had to guess. 
No. Not re- more recently than probably most people, but at least a few years. I haven't seen it since it came out. Mm. And I rented it at Blockbuster. <laughs> I don't think you were old enough to do that. What? Go to Blockbuster and... No, we went every weekend, like, as a yeah, family. Yeah, but not when you were three. All right, well... It came out in 92. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm putting down. I know what you mean. Okay. I feel like that was, uh, that was good. Yeah. I don't know if I didn't go with the legendary birds. I don't know which one I would have gone with. If you got what I had written down, it was football wings and beer, but I was really digging the Maddox Smoltz and Glavin. That's a good one. If you got to go first, would you have gone Harry, Hermione and Ron? No, I was going red, white and blue. That was my number two. Oh, okay. Okay. And then you, same thing when I said, um, oh no, my two was Pokemon. Okay. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Which I didn't have. That's. Oh no. Rock, paper, scissors. I was happy with rock, paper, scissors. That was a good one. Yeah. I had that as number two. I don't know where I had Harry, Ron, and deleted them after you said it, but I do have a, uh, some other ones. Now I didn't write these down, but ones that I didn't take were, uh, the three musketeers. Mm-hmm. Oh, Crosby, Stills, and Nash. That's a good one. Uh, the Holy that, Trinity. When you're talking, oh, mm, that might have been a first one to take. Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Uh, to that, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. One about, that we're probably going to get hate for is uh, Jordan, Pippen, and Rodman. I was going Hogan, Nash, and Hall. Yep, that one's on there. Okay. Uh, the Three Wise Men. Ooh, me, myself, and I. Mm-hmm. Mm, Irene. Uh, I don't know what this is, but you probably do. Henry, Jimmy, and Tommy. Henry, Jimmy, mm, and Looks Tommy? like Al Pacino. I don't know. Looks like the cover of a movie. Henry, Jimmy, and Tommy? They look like they're in the mafia. I don't know. Uh, Corey, Schwing, Oh, and Goodfellas. T- yeah. You never, come on. you never seen David. Nope. Get it together, man. Corey, Sean, and Topanga. Ooh, Ricky, Julian, and Bubbles. Uh, Trailer Park Blossom, Boys. Bubbles, and Buttercup. That would have been a good one. The Sanderson sisters, the Beastie Boys, Powerpuff Girls. That's what I just said. Bu- oh, did Blossom, you? Bubbles, and Buttercup. Oh yeah, yeah. Brady, Belichick, and Kraft. Bron, Wade, and Bosch. Oh, this would have gotten the fans. Well, the viewers. A crafting table, furnace, and chest. It's a Minecraft. Yeah. No. Okay. I don't think they're watching us. Think. Okay. So think of the last oh, thirty-two you know episodes, like the last yeah. five minutes of every <laughs> recording. The Holy Trinity of vegetables, carrots, celery, and onion, or peppers, celery, and onion. You put like well, in your ju- you put it in your jambalaya or like your. So you negated yourself because of that's subjective. Then, hmm. how about Frank Sinatra, Sammy Davis Jr., and Dean Martin? How about Mark McGuire, Barry Bonds, and Sammy Sosa? That would have been way better. Blink One Eighty Two. Yeah, the Three Blink Wise Men. After mm-hmm. I said that. Shit, I gotta listen. You gotta listen. <laughs> What's Yako, Wako, and Dot? What does that uh, mean? I only know Waka, Flocka, and Flame. <laughs> Tim Duncan, Ginobili, and Tony Parker? That's a good one. Mm-hmm. Ash, Brock, and Misty? Mm-hmm. Ooh. Um, my HTML. two balls and my penis? I don't know. I, you might get this one. HTML, CSS, and JS? Yeah. I would have said Java, but it basically is... Or uh, coding languages, programming languages. Wayne, Daryl, and Squirrely Dan. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. All right. Talk to me about space. Oh, yeah, yeah. So what I have for you, not necessarily space, some of it will cover space, is I have some facts to question your existence. Okay. I thought we were going to have like an hour conversation about like the fucking space-time continuum or... Mm, I don't the, know. Flux, the flux capacitor, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So just, they're just facts about space. Um, not necessarily space, just life and the, the, the world and universe and all that. Um, I mean, the first one I think is pretty obvious and I think we probably both have the same answer is, um, are we the most advanced form of life in the universe or are there other far more superior life forms out there? I can't answer that honestly. Or but if you had confidently. to, if you had to guess, um, Honestly, no. Mm -hmm. Why not? Because, so do you believe in like UFOs and shit? Like UFO sightings and... 
Um, honestly, my thought on it is there is beans or there's somebody or some things out there that know we're here. Um, but they're way think- they're Any, way too smart for us to see or know that they exist. So I think that all the okay, so know, in, in, the, the Roswells and the videos and the fighter jets with their what the hell was that and and all that stuff. I think there'd be more concrete evidence by now if there was something. You should watch some of those like documentaries I've on seen Netflix them, about I love like, the whole town that like saw the I've same seen thing. I've one seen night. them. I just think there'd be something very very just um what's the word I'm looking for? It just you wouldn't. Be able to dis no, you just wouldn't be able to disprove what you saw or heard. Like there'd right. be concrete, no going back, hundred percent. That's true, and that that just doesn't exist. So we have the same answer, just in a different yeah. way. Yeah. So you mm-hmm. think there's that we're not the smartest because other people are, or not people, other think, beings are smart enough to know. Not and to my be. right, and my point was going to be if like the the ufo sightings and shit were real like they're advanced enough to do that and we're not flying around other fucking planets being sighted because I'm, we aren't advanced enough i'm gonna say there's like some huge like like galactic like republic of like all these different planets or beings but you have to be to a certain point in your civilization to join so in like 4,000 years, we'll get our Hogwarts letter. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Dude's going to come down and go, you're accepted. Come on in. Not with the way this country's been being <laughs> run. <laughs> They're going to be like, ooh, hashtag mm-hmm. no invite. Huh. Okay. Um, so are these all, are these facts or are they all questions? They're all questions just, just uh, for us to, okay. to contemplate and talk just about. Just ponder. Okay. So is time only a concept made by humans or is it something we restrict? Is it something we restrict ourselves with? Is time only a concept concept made by humans? Is it something we restrict ourselves with? I think a little bit of both. So this actually, you know what? Hold on. Let me uh, scroll to my, cause I think this is something I bring up. Uh, so it must've been just something I saw is like, like there's two belief systems and one is that we move through time and the other is that time moves past us or beyond us or uh i think it is a man-made construct but at the same time we've done it in such a way that like there's 24 hours a day, you know, it goes with the, the earth's rotation around the sun. Like we've hammered it out as far as repetition and like a pattern, but we did make it. Yeah. It's definitely for us. Right. So time is what it is, but in the way that we understand it is a human construct. What about, is it something that we restrict ourselves with? So is because we've made this, this entity, this unit, is it something that now restricts us because we have to exist within it? A hundred percent. Because when can you vote? Mm -hmm. When can you drink? Mm -hmm. When can you retire? We have all these statistics about average lifespan, what middle age is. So like we, we built all these ideals but it doesn't necessarily mean it's not, I don't want to say true or factual because we, we could have done like, you know, a week is a day and you just get, you know, seven suns up and suns down in a day. So it's just how we did it because if, so think about it this way, like if we were raised and taught that like the sun, I'm trying to think of how to, how to put this, like what we know as night could only be every two days like so say the days were 12 hours and it's like night is the beginning of one day and the end of the next day like that would seem so normal if for the past 2000 years that's how it was taught Does sure makes sense and you could say that about gosh so much stuff right so yes um, it is a human construct but i think we did it in a good way well we definitely yeah yeah i mean i would that say if, if you made a pie chart there'd be a lot more pros than cons <laughs> yeah no pie chart, chart or line graph or yeah, yeah, yeah. however you want to do it 
one of them charts. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, why do we all fear death? Because life is so enjoyable. Mm, it's a perfect answer. So You're I heard some- all these things that I, so we're going to get to it. I had, I had, I figured I would, uh, rebuttal your shower thoughts with some, some shower thoughts of my own. And it seems like everything you're saying is related to something I had. And one okay. of them, I'll just, we'll skip when we get to it, is what if all of your fears are like ways you've died in past lives? Ew, no, that sounds horrible. That sounds real bad. Yeah. So I, I have to die from social anxiety? <laughs> Maybe you did 600 years ago. That sounds horrible. Yeah. Um, uh, I just think cause it's the end of it all. I don't know. Yeah. And I some heard, people don't fear death. This is true. Too. Some people welcome it with open arms. I also or heard open chambers or, or open windows air, and airways. And, yeah. yeah. Um, was a guy who I don't remember where I heard it, but I was like, damn, that's pretty, it's pretty spot on. He's like, do you remember before you were born? I was like, and in my head, I was like, no, that's just nothingness. He's like, yeah, well, when you die, there you go. And I was like, oh, I don't, I don't like to think about that. that's, I mean, it sounds very true and genuine to what it could be, but at the same time, I was like, I just don't like thinking about that. Well, if you believe in reincarnation, that light you see at the end of the tunnel could be the light from you being birthed in your next life. Yeah. But that is a, um, like I could be reincarnated right now. So that's one of those things where you don't remember those previous lives or life or whatever it was. You're just you are doing it again or whether right. you're even as a different being, I could go be a squirrel when I die. I mean, you enter that light and you enter that new life, but everything that existed before that didn't. Right. Like I could be Harry Tugman, you know? Yeah, well, you could have used to have been, you can't be. That's what now. I meant. That's yeah. what I meant. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I meant to say. You could be Harry or Tub Man. <laughs> <laughs> Could name that Chris is Harry Tugman is the title of this episode. Chris is the Harrier Tub Man. Hmm. Okay. Um, which is easier to love or to hate, and why? Uh, I think wholeheartedly to hate. But why is that easier? Because you don't have a fear of getting hurt by someone you hate. It doesn't have to be someone. Something. Yeah, it could be something. It could be an idea. It could be. Anything. I think that's a social construct. It's a lot easier to say you hate something than you love something. Yeah. I think hate is one of those words that gets thrown around. And really, when you get down to the definition, do you actually hate it? Like, yeah, I do actually hate Patrick Mahomes. Like, I do. Well, it is funny you went there because I was going to (laughs) say, think think of like 80% of America. Are you going to be judged more for saying I hate the Cowboys or I love the Cowboys? Yep. When you put it in sports terms, definitely. Yeah, well, that's just easy for us to understand. Yeah, but I yeah, think yeah. anything in general, like if you have such an infatuation with X, but such a dismay for Y, you're going to be judged way more for the thing that you do like than that you don't right. like. You're right. Agreed. So that's uh, that's the best I can put it. Okay. Um. So what does the world need more? Wisdom or intelligence? you've asked this question before and we had like a whole thing on like what the difference is. Cause I said, so, wisdom so, is like, yeah. Think knowledge of like from experience and intelligence yeah. is like, my first thought is like the Dalai Lama, like wisdom. That's like, exactly. I'm a, did it's we going to take this? fucking forever, but I'm going <laughs> to find that clip. I don't know what episode it was, and but I'm going to find that clip. I'm thinking like is, Bill intelligence Gates, is Steve learned. Jobs. Yeah. Whereas wisdom, wisdom is, is like, yeah. Um, but I guess to answer your question, Question. Confucius, like Confucius would be wisdom. Yeah. And then intelligence would be like Steve Hawking. Copernicus. I don't know who that is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it just sounded like it went with Confucius. Also, I like how you call him Steve Hawking. Like you all like hang out hey, on the weekends. Hey, Steve, what are you doing this weekend? <laughs> uh, what are you doing? I'm just hanging out with Steve. Yeah. yeah Steve yeah. who? Oh, we're Blue's just, sitting, we're nah, just sitting around. <laughs> yeah, well, you can't do shit else. <laughs> I'm having a good time, Christopher. Aha, aha, aha. Oh, Lord. So, uh, uh, what do you I'm think? I'm going to say world? intelligence. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that's the only way to advance as a culture. You ever seen Terminator? Uh, I've seen the cover, and the cover says, 
I am 100% intelligence. Well, that was like a nod to like AI getting too powerful. Well, that's that's what I was going to say is, you know, the whole the whole new rave is AI, not a W. Mm. Artificial wisdom. Yeah, that's a billion dollar idea, David. Well, got to figure out where to start. <laughs> you type in a jet PD, G, GPT and it's like uh, a Confucius say uh, you <laughs> you should not do this. Uh, Teach a man to fish. <laughs> yeah. What's a good wisdom? Like a. um. A, a good what, what's that one that's like a um a good community like will plant trees for the shade they won't see or something along those lines i can't remember what it is uh when the going gets rough <laughs> turn to wonder yeah or um uh uh a man who chops his own firewood heats himself twice something like that it is better to remain silent at the risk of being thought a fool than to talk and remove all doubt of it. It's mm. a good one. I think the uh, liberals need to take note. We've definitely done a, a segment on this back in the early days of the podcast. Yeah, and you called them something. Mantras. Yeah, I don't think that's what you called them. Um, I have a bunch of idioms I'm going to hit you with. One of, one of these. Okay. No, no, no. Because you, you said what they were called, and I said, I think those are idioms. And then you looked them up, and you were like, no. Okay. How about, let me hit you with just a couple more here. Is there a meaning to all life? What is it? It's what you make of it. Yeah. Is that what you're telling the trees? No, but providing oxygen is what they make of it. So <laughs> life is... The meaning of life is different for every living thing. You're okay. laughing, but I'm serious. Like that's, <laughs> I mean, that's their meaning in life. What about the, the resources they provide aside from oxygen? Fruit. You can have multiple wood. meanings. Like take wood. Wood has multiple meanings. You take wood. It's no, what I'm you not. put in your fireplace. <laughs> it's what you wake up with in the morning. Not all the time, though. Not all the time. I read earlier that uh, morning wood is just like an anti-roll device for men. <laughs> huh? Never, never <laughs> fall off the bed again. Yeah, but never yeah, no, I think it's. I think it's. Uh, the meaning of life is variable. Take okay. that. Run with it. Um. Actually, the last one is. Um. Why do we need validation so much? I thought you were gonna say why do we need valet? That makes no goddamn park in it at fucking. Uh, mcguire's that's why say it again why do we need validation mm -hmm. why do we need validation so much because it, the same th the social construct of society that's yeah i'd agree you don't need it you want it and i think you've probably learned the same thing is the older you get the less you care about that yep i think <laughs> or back in back in the like, day like when to, you listen to like your like when you're a kid and like older either parents or grandparents, even like stuff they would say and do. You're like, Oh my God. Yeah. You just, but you get to that point where you just don't, you give zero fucks. I used to give a shit what other people thought about me. And then I left Maryland. Yeah. Funny yeah. how that works. Yeah. Saved money. You stayed at, warm at Eric and Antonio and Joe and Joe and Rhodes, everybody else that listens to this. Tony and yeah. Well, parents. some of them I feel like don't care, but. <laughs> Your dad made the opposite move and went cold. Well, he said by spring he wants to be in Florida, so. This spring coming up? Yeah. Damn. I could see him living in, like, not Tampa, but, like, Fort Lauderdale. I could see him down there. Nah, it's too far. He's got to be close for babysitting duties. St. Pete? St. Pete? Um, I don't know if he'd like it over there. Fort Myers? It's a little, a little younger. Fort Myers is a little far away. Sarasota? Uh. Can't think of a funny joke. Sarah drinks soda. Sarasota hardly knew her. <laughs> I, I got nothing. I don't know. All right. Well, I have shower thoughts with Chris. <laughs> It'll be your thumbnail for me. Yeah. <laughs> if air and water are both clear, why can we see water and not air? I'm looking at air right now. I just can't see it. So I go back to what I said. Why can we see water? <laughs> And not air. You can see water in a liquid form <laughs> and a solid form and a gas. So form, I go back I to guess. what I said. Why can we see water and not air? Um, I don't know. Okay. 
I have. When you close both eyes, you see black. But when you close one eye, you see nothing. Like with that eye that's closed. Oh. Like you don't see black in that one eye. You just see what's coming out of your open eye. Yar, matey. Yar. <laughs> oh, I have. Your first birthday is actually your second birthday. It is. Um, and there's some countries that when you're born, you're one. I want to say Korea, I believe. So all those people that set records like out of Korea for like being the oldest person ever, they exaggerated they a year. They yeah. cheated. Sons of cheaters. Bitches. Betty White would have made it to 100 if she lived in Korea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a long title, but that'd be a good one. <laughs> I'll write it down just in case. <laughs> Betty White would have made it to 100 if she was Korean. <laughs> Betty White would have Betty White. lived Betty White. to 100. <laughs> oh, Betty White. Oh, Betty White. That sounds like you're saying like she's very white. Oh, Betty White. Betty White. <laughs> she's Betty, Betty White. Because Koreans, from what I learned from uh, the Bad, Fr- Bad Friends podcast, is um, Koreans sound like they're like always stoned. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, sure. I think that's like just Asians in general, right? No, because Japanese are very like guttural and like aggressive. That's that's like the third episode you've said guttural. 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 Uh, how bizarre. <laughs> do, 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 do. I have baby butterflies don't exist. <laughs> or is uh, <laughs> a newly born caterpillar just a baby butterfly? Mm. No. According to the uh, center of bugs. They are oh the cob different. yeah the cob <laughs> I forgot about the cob yeah they're they're different things uh anyways mirrors don't break they multiply <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good uh, my window didn't break it multiplied <laughs> was your window a mirror I didn't break my wrist it multiplied <laughs> no because it's not a wrist anymore it's like a yeah you get it yeah, yeah I got you. we will we will never be able to hear about the perfect crime. Mm, that's really good it's out there we just don't know correct even though suicide is illegal you can only be charged with attempted suicide okay interesting yeah yeah Yeah. Yeah. uh this one kind of hurt a little bit inside pets don't understand that we make mistakes if we trip over them or accidentally step on them they think we did it for a reason yeah yeah or like you like grab jolene's belly to move her and she's like yeah like, she's like what the fuck and you're like yeah, i didn't mean like, to i'm sorry. sorry yeah she's like fuck you <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh you never know the last time your parents held your hand yeah they don't either yeah nothing is on fire fire is on things <laughs> <laughs> and there's fire on that couch <laughs> man that wood's got a lot of fire on it that's pretty good i like that yeah uh, out of every person to ever live, only five and a half percent are alive right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, tobacco companies kill their best customers. <laughs> Touche. And, and condom companies technically kill their future customers. Customers. Yeah. Yeah. And the last one I have is uh, there are sidewalks in the movie Cars, even though they're all cars. <laughs> <laughs> just made a, a reference at work the other day about someone was about like cars? Man, no yeah they were like man chris he's like you're moving like lightning and i was like mcqueen and i went ka-chow <laughs> and they went what <laughs> i was like cars i was like what's, what's that and i was like oh god okay uh everybody was like, i i almost made it a part of this episode but i figured we'd save it for another one since i already had so much but just about like working with such a younger generation so that'll that'll be a a future yeah, thing. Yeah, I can tell you plenty about that. Yeah. Um. So that's all I had for that. So David, if I paid you a million dollars, but whenever you're hungry, your inner thoughts are replaced with those of an insurance salesman named Bill who lives in Des Moines, Iowa, and is a huge Kiss fan, would you do it? No. Uh, a million. Bill Insurance Kiss Des Moines. Anytime, like right now, you're you're getting Bill's thoughts. What insurance company does he work for? I'm going to go with, um, he's with Progressive. Probably. They're kind of boring. 
If it was like State Farm, I'd, I feel like like that's all I'd think about. David, I mean, they're all pretty boring, like insurance salesmen. It's pretty boring. Yeah, but Bill, you know, all Bill's probably thinking about all the time is how bad he wants to fornicate with Flo. Or go to the next Kiss concert. He's thinking about Gene, what's the name? Gene, uh, uh, not Sterator. Gene. Not, not Simmons. Uh, Gene, Hack, not Hackman. Is, Gene. Got, it's not seems, Simmons? Oh, it is Simmons. It's not it Gene. It's uh, Russell? No. Bill? No. Josh? Uh-uh. <laughs> Keith? <laughs> no. I don't know a Keith Simmons. It is, in fact... Oh, it is Gene Simmons. <laughs> yeah, that's a... <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was thinking of, uh, who's that? Who's the, uh, the, the gay guy who does, like, all the exercise videos? John Basedow. No, no, no. Come on. With the mm. afro and... Uh, gay exercise guy. There's no way. Richard I just typed Simmons. the exact same thing into my Google. <laughs> I typed in gay exercise guy. And you got Richard Simmons. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> I also didn't spell exercise, right? <laughs> I think I missed a letter. Okay. <laughs> I like how we both just went gay exercise guy. That's funny. Gene Simmons, Paul Stanley, Ace Fraley, Peter, Peter Chris, Chris, Eric Carr, Vinny Vincent. And Mark St. John and Bruce Cullick and but the original four were Gene, yeah. Paul, Peter. Paul and Peter? Weren't they apostles? Yeah. Now mm. they just need a, a, a Joseph and a what was that guy's name? Sam? Uh <laughs> Jesus. Sam the Apostle. <laughs> oh, Trey. Oh, Steve. <laughs> Steve. Ah, Steve. Hello, Jesus. I am here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, uh, I don't think I'm going to do it unless yeah, it's progr- no. or progressive. Yes. State farm. No, no, yeah, I'm, I'm just not somebody else's thoughts. Cause I like, even on my like 15 minute drive to work, I feel like mentally I go through like life's worth of thoughts. And like, I just, I thought you just said it, it was every time you're hungry. Oh yeah. You're right. So I guess yeah. nobody wants my thoughts, <laughs> when but I'm hungry. hungry a lot. So true. like I'm starving right now and all I'm thinking yeah. about is Gene Simmons. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay that's it that's all i got okay all right well this week on my ask reddit i have what is the most interesting stat you know i know off the top of my head cal played for 2632 games off the top of my head consecutive is that Um, like interesting though i mean down to the very amount and one of the hardest most unbreakable records of all time i think it's pretty interesting okay yeah i'm gonna go with that Okay. Well, the first one I have is that the belly button bacteria study was wild. 60 belly buttons were sampled and 2,368 different species of bacteria were found. The study indicated that 1,458 of them may be new to science. One had a rare bacteria found in Japanese soil and they had never been to Japan. So that's going to be something with either they some kind of produce they got or something they bought or... Just, just that air that we can't see carried it over here. Who knows? COVID. Maybe they made love to somebody that was in Japan. Bumping belly buttons. Bumping buttons, as they Bumping call buttons. it. Bumping mm-hmm. buttons. I don't know who they are, and I've never heard them call it that. Uh, Teletubbies. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. About to spit a booger out. <laughs> the next one I have is the Statue of Liberty wears a size 879 sandal. Damn, it's a big bitch. <laughs> but nice fucking flippies. Nice fucking flippies. Good torch, too. Good torch. Very nice torch. Very nice. I have two thirds of all the Australian population will develop skin cancer at some point in their lives. What's that one third doing not to get it? Not going outside. Damn. Yeah, I do. I do. I, I follow a guy who's from Australia on YouTube and he, he does skin like cancer. He, well, he does like outdoor stuff. He's always outdoors, has a boat, he's on islands, he does this survival stuff, whatever. And he always has his whole face every time he's out there is just like, like he looks like he's wearing a mask because it just caked in sunscreen. Poor guy. Yeah. Yeah. If she moved to Florida. Uh, yeah. I'd rather Canada, live in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have, we collectively receive about 2.4 billion robocalls per month. Whoa. I wish I could access my phone i think i had like 11 today i haven't had any 
in a, over a year. I've had about 400 this year. All I get is Ford because I'm, I'm almost done with my payments. Like I'll be done by next mm, June ish, like on my car. Yeah. Hey, man, we got the newest model. Uh, we can reduce your payments. And this is like, yeah. they're, they're going like twice a week. So they're not, going ham. It's not robo, but it's, yeah. yeah. Hey, man, it's Jose down at, yeah. at, at the Ford. And you want, hey, the, yard? You want we the, have, the New York Mustang? We have New York Mustang. Yeah. Reduce payment, yeah. low yeah. interest. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I have that 49.6% of Pakistanis marry a first cousin and 8.3% marry a second cousin. In rural areas of Pakistan, up to 80% of people marry a cousin. Is that just a, a population thing? Like they just don't have, or is that a just. Could be a fetish. What, I don't know. That's just their culture and what they do. It's, Call it incestistan, maybe? I don't know. Incestistan. <laughs> Tabooistan? <laughs> uh, this one's one of my favorite. Of the 30 fastest 100-meter sprint times, 21 were run by athletes who tested positive for performance-enhancing drugs. The other nine were Usain Bolt. Damn. Goat. Yeah. Wow. Wow. And he almost got taken out by a freaking Segway. That's the craziest part. <laughs> You remember that? No. At the Olympics? Uh, now that you said it, maybe. He's holding his flag, celebrating, and the camera guy's on like a Segway and runs into the back of him, into his legs, and Hussein like flips backwards. You don't remember that? Mm. No. Nah. And everyone was like, oh my God, he just like ended his career. Like it looked like he like broke his legs or like busted an ankle or something. Yeesh. Okay. Wild. Well, Put that little clip in right there. It's just Hussein getting ran over by this dude on a Segway. Scalzo. Ah, mamma mia. Um, the human eye blinks about 4.2 million times a year on average. Damn. And that's if I got paid every time I blinked. Well, it's funny that you say that because the next one is if you made $295,000 every single day since the birth of Christ, you still wouldn't be worth what Elon Musk is. That's fine. I don't have to be. I'll take it, though. <laughs> and I... And I fact checked that one, and it's true, and it's upsetting. Is it? Is he richer than Bezos? Yeah, Bezos gave like half his worth oh, to his wife. Remember? That's right. Yeah. yeah. Also, have you seen like Bezos in the '90s compared to Bezos now? Did he have hair? <laughs> he had hair, and he's driving like a, like 1984 Honda Accord. And he's like, it's a good car; it works fine. And he has his glasses on, and now he's like bald with like his yachts, and like it's really funny, really funny. Well, with that. A full 6% of Americans reckon they could beat a grizzly bear in unarmed combat. It's ridiculous. No shot. Uh, 90% of the Canadian population live within 100 miles of the U.S. border. I did know that. Mm-hmm. Uh, continents move at the same rate that fingernails grow. Damn, we got clipping continents like <laughs> twice a week. Let's start with California. Ooh. There are more privately owned guns than people in the U.S. That's obvious. And someone commented and said, I sure hope so. Privately owned people have been illegal for years. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Perfect comment. That's great. Uh, And the last one I have is 60% of gun violence is suicides. Wow. So, but that 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 including like Kamala. Is that including like war? Uh, Probably not. Probably like domestic. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Pretty sure the other one's probably like a NATO stat. NATO, hardly newer. <laughs> <laughs> Mungu, Wungu. Ugh. All right. We're going to finish up on some overrated or underrated. Okay. So I'm going to give you something and you're going to tell me if you think it's overrated or underrated. Got it. The first one is electric cars. Overrated. I concur. The next one is podcast. Mm, I got a pick. I'd say overrated. I think I'd, I'd be there with you. The next one is AI. Right now, currently, I'd say it's overrated. I'd say it's underrated currently because yeah. I think yeah. way more people could use it than do. And they will without knowing pretty soon. Yeah, probably. Uh, the next one is crypto. I'll give it um, Overrated. Yeah, I'm with you there. Uh, I already know the answer to this one. The next one is air fryers. Overrated bullshit. (laughs) 
Uh, and the last one I have for you is esports. Fucking overrated cunts. Fuck them bitches. We out, you double titty in a fire bitch ass hose. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> double titty in a fire bitch ass hose. <sighs> that was good. That was good. That was good. I like that. Are you coming for Thanksgiving? I couldn't even tell you. Okay. That's a we'll talk bridge. about it this weekend. That bridge, those blueprints, blueprints haven't even been drawn up yet. <laughs> there you go, Eric. <laughs> <laughs>